Hey guys, and welcome back to Free Tech Joomla tutorial part two. Okay, so if you remember our little website folder that we created the last time, and inside website software, this is what we did the last lesson. We downloaded all the relevant software that we're going to need in order to build our multimedia Joomla website. Well, the initial startup phase anyway. Okay, you might notice an extra folder here. I just went and downloaded the Joomla package again in a zip file so that um, if some of you got this, you'd know how to do it uh, to extract all these files. So you right click on the folder and down to extract all next and again next. And that will give you a folder just like the other one that we have here, which is extracted and uncompressed. That's all that's doing. Okay. So let's just talk about the, the software that we have here very quickly. Joomla 1.5, uh, 1.15. 1.5 stable full package. This is basically all the files you're going to need to build a Joomla website are contained within this folder, okay? They're not going to be an executable file. You're not going to be launching an application or anything with this. Okay, it's just files. In order to make those files appear like a website on our local host here, we have to set up what's called a virtual server. And this is XAMPP. This is this job here. So when we install this, um, our browser basically will be able to read our Joomla files once we have the proper installation underway, okay? So we're having a virtual server right here on our laptop, our computer. In other words, we can build and make adjustments to our Joomla website before we ever export it up to the World Wide Web. Now, when we do need to export it up to the World Wide Web, FileZilla, this is the guy, it's an FTP software, File Transfer Protocol software which basically means we're going to link our computer up with our hosting site and this is the going to create the pathways that will shoot all our documents up and down and make that connection between our web hosting service. Okay, the game, we won't be getting into this lesson later, but it's just a fantastic little design tool and we're going to be using for resizing pictures, uh, creating pictures, uh, making banners and buttons and other bits and pieces. It's a free piece of software. It's very similar to Photoshop. If you've got Photoshop, then you, you know, you might necessarily need this, but I'd still download it. It's free. It's good fun to use. Lots of little applications in it. Okay. So this is the, the software that we have here at the moment. Let's press on, and in this lesson, we're going to set up our virtual server with XAMPP. Okay. So if you double-click the XAMPP program, and then press Run, and I'm going to install here. It's going to my C drive, which is where all my program files are. If you have a different one, you may change that. But I'm going to press ins install. I have existing files. I'm going to say yes to all that because I've, I've installed XAMPP before. You, you probably won't see that particular message. But again, if you do need to do another installation at a later stage, you probably might see that. And that's okay. I'm just going to pause the video right here now while this does because it'll take a couple of minutes. I'll be back to you in a few. Okay, so that's just finishing the installation here. Just come back because you're going to see a, a little pop up window here. Any second now. <laughs> okay, I came back maybe a bit early, but uh, not too worried. Okay, so you're going to get this DOS window here. Should I add shortcuts to the startup menu desktop? So I'm going to press yes to that. Or Y, as it indicates. Should I locate the X app? That's correctly. And again, that's a Y. Should I make a, a portable X amp without a drive letters? And again, press return. On, it's already on end so for no. Okay. XAMP is now finishing off its installation. You'll see an icon popping up on your desktop. Okay, XAMP is ready to use. Press return to continue. Return. Okay, time zone. My time zone is Europe, London. So you need to change that data. It should pick up on your own internal clock. And then press X for exit this section and return. Okay. Just to show you here, XAMPP is now here on my desktop. Okay, 
I'm going to double click on that and you see this control panel here. So Apache and MySQL, these are the two that when we're actually running, working on our website, we need these two guys to be on. So remember, if you have turned off your computer and then you're coming back to work on, on the Joomla site again, you turn on your computer, you need to start XM. You need to start that virtual server. Okay, as you can see, I, I clicked the X on that, but it's, it's running down here. So you, you need to see this icon if you want to work on your Joomla website. Now, very quickly, just before we finish, I'm going to open Firefox. And up at the top here, I'm going to type in localhost, L-O-C-A-L-H-O-S-T, and return. And you should see this page. So now the browser is recognizing XAMPP as a server and it's providing this page for us. And I'm going to, you can pick your language right here. I'm going to pick English. That's my primary language. Okay, so we're ready to go. You have successfully installed XAMPP on the system. We are ready to build that to you on the website. So stay posted. Do come back for lesson three, which will be posted shortly. And enjoy.